Hi friends, today we're gonna to talk about books that are gonna blow up. Yesterday's video was season one, if you will, of these books will self-destruct in 12 months. Today's video will be the beginning of season two. I've got 10 books or series that we're going to talk about and if I haven't read them by next December they're gonna get unhauled. This idea came from Becca and the Books who I will link in the description box down below. Uh, basically I'm gonna give you a list of 10 books, maybe a reason why I want to unhaul them um, or I'm giving myself like a time limit to unhaul them or have read them. I could have also done that and if not they will blow up. The first is A Day Without Dawn by Jillian Eaton. This is the oldest book on my TBR. This is book two in the Lola Chronicles. This author doesn't write these kind of stories anymore. She, I think, only writes historical romance, which she writes spicy historical romance, which I haven't read any for a while, like probably since 2015 or 2016, because historical isn't really my jam, but I really loved her like YA paranormal type stuff. So this book is about vampires. Uh, the first book in the series starts off with a ma our main character Lola who lives in a small town and essentially they wake up one day and all of the entrances and exits out of the town have been blown up. There's no way for anybody to get anywhere. They can't leave the town and the town is being overrun with vampires and anyone that you know could now be a vampire and Lola's having to fight the vampires. Do I remember enough of book one to go into this book reading it knowing that it's been on my shelf as a pre-order from 2016? Probably not but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. As we go through these a lot of these are like whole series that I need to read <laughs> or parts of series that I need to read so uh, I'm only gonna hold up one book of these. Just know that some I will be telling you there are more like a title by Amanda Hawking. It's a teeny tiny one. This is the third book in her Water Song Quartet, which means there are four books, which means I've read books one and two and haven't read books three and four, mostly because one and two have audiobooks and three and four don't. Um, and I don't know how I feel about this teeny tiny writing in this itty bitty paperback. I may have to buy a different copy. I started reading this a long time ago. I'm on chapter four. Basically, I need to read at least book three in order to keep three and four on my shelf. Otherwise, they both go in. Next is a book that I bought in 2017 along with all of those other books that I bought in 2017 that I've been kind of culling the herd and that is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. Again, a teeny tiny book. Uh, I don't know what this is about. I just know it's Neil Gaiman. People like said it was a good book so I picked it up. She a Chunky Baby. Prior to this I had not read any Neil Gaiman books but I did read the Graveyard book earlier this year and I did enjoy it. So Will I read this? I don't know, but if I don't, by the end of the year, it's leaving my house. And that's the important part. Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I think I pre-ordered this book. I think it's been on my shelf for how long ago? This book's from 2017. Haven't picked it up. Haven't even picked it up for a try chapter. She's still here. The last six are books that I own either all or most of the series for. So I've been collecting books for years and I've been collecting like complete series that are series that I thought I would enjoy or that people enjoyed or I thought would make good content. Like I could read a whole series and tell you what I thought about it um, and do like a whole series vlog. But we have learned that I suck at vlogging. Now I have said I do want to try more vlogging in 2023 and I will be doing that hopefully with some of these books, but we'll see. But essentially the next six books are, if I haven't read at least the first book by the end of the year, the whole series goes. Okay, that's the description for all of them. We're just going to go through them. The Summoner series by Taryn Mathrew. I own all three books and the prequels. The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I have previously DNF'd an Alexandra Bracken book. Did the first chapter of this for a try chapter though and did like it enough to keep it. So hopefully that bodes well. I do only own this one and the fourth book though. So The Young Elites by Marie Lu. I own all three of these. Ruined by Amy Tintera. This is a trilogy. I own all three. Burn for Burn trilogy by Ginny Han and 
Siobhan Vivian. There we go. I got it. I ordered these the day that I read all of the, um, to all the boys I love before trilogy, um, that I literally read in like less than 24 hours. Like I binged that entire trilogy and, and had the best time. And so I ordered these three. I own all three. They've been sitting on my shelf ever since then. That was like 2017, I think. And the final is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. I only own the first two books in this trilogy, but again, I've had it around forever, probably since 2017 or 2018. Haven't picked it up. What am I doing with my life? Okay. So those are the books that if I haven't read at least the first book in the series, those books are going, the first four, those books, or it goes, we talked about it. Okay. Those are my self-destructing books for season two, aka the year of 2023. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you do on your channel because I would love to see it. These are one of my favorite videos to watch because it's really fun, especially at the end of the year to like see how well you did or if like things are just being chucked into the ether. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!